Hello and welcome to this section of the Physics Tutor and uh, in this section we're going to cover the topic of capacitors with a dielectric. Uh, and just like with all sections in physics when you read the title and you're like wow this is going to be really hard but really it's a very very simple concept. Basically what we've done till, up until this point, the last few sections talking about capacitors, we've introduced them as storage devices. It's a device where charge can go in, be temporarily stored, and then later on we'll learn that you can suck that charge out and that lets you do lots of cool things with circuits. So you can use them to generate oscillations, you know, to kind of pull charge in and out, it creates oscillations. And so capacitors, they're used in every electronic device that we have. Uh, pretty much anything that you can pull off the shelf has a capacitor in it, in it somewhere. Um, in this section, what we're going to do is expand on what we've learned from previous sections. So up until now, all of the capacitors that we've talked about, we've talked about a plate with a separation distance D and a surface area on the plates, right? So a surface area A, separation distance D. But we've always basically talked about uh, there being air, uh, basically an air gap between those plates or maybe even a vacuum gap where there's nothing at all between there. And so everything's been derived up until that point. But in real life, most capacitors are not constructed with just air between them or uh, just, uh, just uh, a vacuum or something between them. I mean, you can certainly construct a capacitor to do that, and the first ones probably were. And you can go in the lab and build one like that. But all practical capacitors, the guys that you'll pull out of a computer if you slice them open, you're not going to see an air gap between there. You're going to see some other material in there. And that material has a fancy word. It's called a dielectric. All right, so don't get too wrapped up in the word. It just means material between the two plates of a capacitor. That's all it is. And you can put anything you want in there. You can put plastic in between the two plates. You can put glass in between the two plates. You can put an orange peel if you wanted to between the two plates. You can put anything you want um, as long as it doesn't really conduct electricity. You want it to be an insulator. You want the electric field to be able to run through that dielectric but you don't want it to really conduct or short circuit that path. You want it to be an insulator. Now why might you might ask, you might you might ask, why would you construct a capacitor with something in between the plates? And the answer is it raises the capacitance. And that's very important. So make sure you understand when you put a dielectric in between two plates of a capacitor, it increases the capacitance. So I think you can all see immediately why that would be a useful thing to do. We build a capacitor with a certain geometry surface plate area A, distance D, and we get a calculated capacitance for it. All we have to do now is take some styrofoam or some, some uh, you know, plastic or rubber or something, put it in between the plates, but don't change anything else, and now our capacitance has improved. And that's just because of what's going, going on at the atomic level with the electric field and how it's interacting with that material, it raises the capacitance. So, in order to see how it raises the capacitance and to kind of calculate the results, let's go and talk about that right now. So, recall from before, uh, so recall, I shall say, the parallel plate capacitor with an air gap or a vacuum gap. And what we have learned before, really not telling you so explicitly, is that the capacitance is equal to the permittivity epsilon naught, we called it, times the, the plate area A divided by the distance D. So the larger the physical larger, you know, larger the surface area of the plates are, the higher the capacitance is. Physically, the smaller the distance between the plates, if you get really, really close together, then that makes this, this number get really uh, small, makes the whole thing get bigger, so the capacitance gets bigger. So two ways to raise the capacitance, increase the plate area or decrease the distance between